Hi everybody, it's Kristen. So it is time for my fourth quarter mascara. I've called it mascara madness. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to continue calling this, but it's like my mascara roundup for the last quarter. So very quickly, I explained it. I've only done this video one other time. I'm going to continue to do it though. Um, I pull out new mascaras every three months and I use them and then I throw them away after the three months. That's what I do. I don't want to mess around with any <laughs> germs or anything and I don't have like 20 mascaras that I'm throwing out. I usually will have three mascaras that I've used throughout the three months and then try to to toss them after that three months. So this is the fourth quarter roundup, whatever, of those mascaras. So the first one that I want to talk to you about is a drugstore mascara. I thought that I saved it. I can't find it anywhere. So I have a picture to show you. And I, was, I had high hopes for this because you guys know I like the CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash Mascara. This is just the CoverGirl Professional Mascara. So it looks like this. I just wanted to kind of show you. So I know that you guys have seen that one before. I didn't like it at all. It didn't, I didn't feel that it lengthened. I didn't feel, I felt like all it did was give my lashes a little bit of a tint and only a little bit of a tint at that. Now, I don't know if that particular mascara had been around a little while, maybe it had been open and I don't know about it. I, I don't really know, but I didn't like it at all. So I used it a couple of times and then it went into the empty spin, which I think I might have by accident thrown it out last month. So that's the first one. The second one that I want to talk about, and I do, I do like this mascara. Um, it just, and it, it doesn't transfer. That's one of my biggest things is, okay, I'll tell you what it is. It's the Clinique Lash Power Mascara Long Wearing Formula. And it has a little teeny tiny brush like that. So it's very nice for separating out and I have used it a couple of times to separate out, you know, if I didn't have my other brush that I like so much, um, to separate out a, a volumizing mascara, but it doesn't, it doesn't give me any volume. And that for me, I really want all of it. <laughs> I know, but I mean, I want, I want volume. I want length. I want, I just, I just want my lashes to look fantastic. Is that so much to ask? So anyway, this is a very nice mascara. It doesn't transfer for me um, on the top of my eyelids. And I don't ever have an issue with things transferring down below. So I, I didn't have an issue with that either. So it's very nice. And if you like a more natural but want a long wearing look, I think this is a really nice one to try. Okay, I had pulled out a sample at some point. I, I don't know why. I think because I had gotten it in a kit of the Bobbi Brown Extreme Party Mascara. So it looks like this. This baby transferred on me. It's a nice, natural, like full brush, but it's a really big brush. I had, I had bent this like that. Um, it, it, it did all of those things except for lengthen. It didn't add any length, but it did give a lot of volume. But this, whoo, buddy, didn't take very long, and it was transferred and a and a mess. So. I personally don't love that mascara. Okay, so now the last two are the ones that I wore most often over the last three months. And I'll talk with about this one first because I, I wore this one for a couple of video, a couple of my uh, Four Looks One Palette videos. And this is the Lash Domination by Mer Bare Minerals. I'm not sure if this normally comes like this or if it normally comes silver. I've seen it both ways, but I got this in a kit, if I remember correctly. This has a rubber bristle brush that's very strange. I normally do not like this kind of brush, and this isn't, that's, it's not any different that I don't love the brush, but this mascara is really nice. I really like, it lengthens and it volumizes, and because of that kind of weird little brush, it separates as well. The only negative that I really have is that that brush kind of hurts, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It kind of hurts when you're, trying to wiggle it through your lashes. So it doesn't, it didn't transfer, I shouldn't say it doesn't, it didn't transfer on me for the first couple of months. But all of a sudden in the last couple of weeks, it started transferring. So I don't know if that's something that has changed in me and not the mascara or if the mascara changes over time, I'm not really sure. But I just wanted to let you know that all of a sudden towards the end of the day, I did kind of start to see those dark smudges up on top and Again, I'm, I'm just not really sure if it's this or something changed in my chemistry. I didn't change my primer or anything. I'm using the exact same primer combination. 
so I'm not really sure. But um, I, I would I would suggest this. I do like this. I just don't love the brush. That's really the only the only drawback to that one. And then the last one that I have is the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel. I feel like I'm the only person in the world that doesn't love this mascara. Everybody else that I know is like, throw out all, my, all the rest of my mascaras, this is the only one I'm using. And I just don't have that feeling about this mascara. I, and I bought this um, when Nordstrom was having their buy two get one free mascara. I like to try to take advantage of that, you know, try some higher end ones at not quite the price point. Um, brush, I'll show you the brush. This is one of my issues. So there's not much to the brush and it gets really clumpy. I So I opened it, used it a couple of times, was like, hmm, this needs to dry out. I just assumed that, that it was one of those mascaras you need to let sit for a little bit. So I used this Lash Domination for a full month and then went back to this. Same thing. Um, I've been using it now for, <laughs> for quite a while. And I, I have, and you probably, if you watch below, you know what I what I'm wearing if you're curious about it. I have been wearing it for quite a few weeks now and it has gotten a little bit better, but it's still really clumpy. You have to be really careful with this. So if you like those, some people really like kind of that clumpy, almost spider-like lash, false lash kind of look. I think you would probably enjoy this. I don't think it's worth the price point for me, but that's just me. And again, I, I really am in the minority on that, but <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, that, that, I, what what I come away with this with this fourth quarter mascara roundup is uh, of the ones that I tried. If I had to pick one, I guess I would choose the Lash Domination from Bare Minerals. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to say about the Chanel is that all of a sudden in the past probably week and a half, it's really flaking and not flaking where you can just brush it away. Flaking where I brush it away and I've just left myself a streak of black on my cheeks. So I don't appreciate that <laughs> either. That that's a problem for me. So. Um, I didn't love any of these mascaras. None of these are going to become Holy Grail mascaras for me. Neither one of them has knocked off my CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash or my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. But I did, you know, like I said, I did enjoy using this one. So um, I'm, I actually will use these through January 1st. I'm not sure. I'm recording a lot of videos in advance, so I'm not sure because of the holidays. I'm not sure exactly when this one is going up. But on January 1st, I will be tossing these and switching over to um, some new mascaras, which you guys will see at the end of March. Ha, huh, can you believe that? <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not interested in what is on my face, and if you are, I will run it down very quickly for you. Okay, so I have the same foundation base that I'm wearing until it's gone, the Misha Perfect Cover and the Bare Minerals Foundation in Light. On my cheeks today, I have Max Blush All Day, which is right here, it's from one of their Pearl Longwear blushes. And on my eyes today, I have the Naked Palette, I have Half Baked all over the lid, and then I have Buck in the Crease, and I took Virgin and mixed it with a little Brulee from MAC and as my highlight. That's all that I did, just simple. And I have my Avon Super Shock as my liner, top and upper waterline. Just took a little bit of that buck underneath, and then I have the Chanel Mascara on. And on my lips today, I have my YSL... Rouge Volupte Shine in number 17. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.